CSR Microenergy Starter Development Kit. We're going to unpack the contents of the box, we're going to install the software and we're going to create our first heart rate demo. So there are four things in the box. We start off with the uh, Microenergy Setup Guide and this walks us through the initial installation of the software. The software is contained on our CD-ROM. We have a micro USB cable to plug into the PC and we have our development kit which has a CSR 1010 module already fitted to it. So we're going to look at the PCB in a little bit more detail. On the left hand side here we have the USB connector which connects to the PC. We have a USB to SPI converter. We have the set of breakout pins for the PIOs. And on the right hand side here we have the CSR 1010 module. So following the quick start guide, the first thing we're going to do is take our CD-ROM and put it into the PC. And we do this before we plug any of the cables into the PC. So once the CD-ROM has been placed into the PC, uh, we can open it in the uh, D colon in my case uh, for the CD-ROM and we're going to double click on the microenergy SDK. We're going to load the software and we're going to follow all the defaults within the software. So accept the license, click next. We're going to load all the defaults all the way through the screens and we're going to install the software which will just take a a minute. We're now going to plug in the hardware to the PC. So we plug the micro PC uh, USB connector in this side and the main one to the side of my laptop. So this will install the driver for this particular board which is a USB spy driver and then we're going to start the cross-eyed bits here and then we're going to load the project for the hardware monitor. So we open the workspace and we look for the heart rate sensor here. We find the project and we open the project. So this gives us a list of C files down the side here, which we can expand. And right at the bottom here are some files for setting up things like the Bluetooth address. So what we will do is assign this a custom Bluetooth address, it's not the same as everyone else is working on in the office. I'll save that. We can now build the entire project. So we're going to build the whole thing. Or we can press F7 to do this. And we get a list of things that's built at the bottom. And then we can download this project to the board, which we either hit run or F5. So this is now downloading to the PCB and you can see a little less SPI light is flashing in the corner here. And we'll see a successful comes up at the bottom and the screen changes over to a debug mode. So we're now ready. We have our heart rate application running actually on the card and we can use another application to see if the heart rate is transmitting or not. So using an application on our iPod Touch, we're going to connect to our heart rate belt, which is simulated on here, and look at the data coming across on our iPod Touch. So using the CSR application, we can run up and there are a selection of things we can select. Uh, we know we've got heart rate into the other end, so we're going to select heart rate. And you can see on here that there's a heart rate sensor, which is active. So we're going to select this one, and you can see it's now showing us a heart rate that's being received from our hardware. We can also look at other items like the battery status, who manufactured it, and the software versions. And then we can go back to the other screen. On here we have the various values that it's read across from the uh, heart rate belt. So RR values, BPM, and status and location. So now that you've seen the demo, you might like to purchase one of these kits. They're available from DigiKey or Broadband in Europe. The price is $99 and shipping to your country, plus the part number you will need is DK-CSR1010-10169. If you need some support when you've got your kit, the support notes are on the back of the starter guide and the key one here is forum.csr.com.